Hello, welcome to the video for what is the main material mobile property. Let me go ahead and open up this quick little example here. Our mobile section contains two properties, fully rough and use light map, use light map directionality. Basically, these are intended to be used if you are on a mobile platform and you want to save on performance. So to see these in use, this quick little example here has two cubes, each with the same material applied. However, one is using the mobile options and the other is not. The one on the left, you can see a little bit of gloss from my non-fully rough material as well as you can see that we have a sort of a direction on the normal map from where the light source is. The light source is from the top and you have shadowing more on the bottom. Now on this right side, we're not really seeing a directional for the light source and we're not seeing any form of reflectivity. Now the two options are fully rough and use light map directionality. Fully rough basically will ignore whatever you've put into roughness and it will make it a fully rough value, which is a one which will save on the instructions as well as one texture sampler. Now, when we enable that or disable that, you'll end up with what you see here, which is fully rough. The other one is use light map directionality. Basically, it's difficult to see if you do not use a normal map, but it's very apparent when you're using a normal map Basically, you have a light source coming down and you have our shadows on the bottom, which is the opposite direction of our light source. Now, when we disable it, the light mapping is not going to calculate where the light source is, which means it's going to give it flat shading basically everywhere. It's going to save on performance. Let me show you how that is affected. Let's go ahead and turn back on light map directionality and apply that to my shader. We're not going to see much of a difference because I haven't built yet. So let's go ahead and wait for it to compile. Once it compiles, we'll go ahead and do a quick build and then you'll be able to see the difference between the two when I disable it and enable it. Unfortunately, we just have to wait for it to build, which is up to Unreal itself. There we go. Okay, so we have this when I hit build. Take a couple seconds. And we're going to see it's going to, I still have fully roughness on, but I'm telling it to use the light map directionality. So while this is better on performance, notice how it does not have the shimmer because it's fully rough. You have a little bit better detail because you can kind of tell that the light is coming from the top and you have shadowing on the bottoms and the right. When I disabled that, the light map directionality and applied it, and then you compared it to the left one, you saw that it was pretty flat looking. Now, the importance of this is when we save it and actually compile it, and you see the differences in the shader instructions. So here's our normal texture. We have 97 instructions in the static lighting, 65 in dynamic, and then we're using 33 vertex and four texture samples. Let me go ahead and pull this up for comparison's sake and compare it with this one. Now if we look at the difference, we have 92 instructions on the mobile version and 64 on the dynamic lighting. So we are saving five instructions per material pass when we're using static lighting and one instruction when we're using dynamic lighting. It may not seem like much, but when you're using a mobile device, you are limited. You have a lot of overhead from the device itself. So while you will sacrifice the visual appeal, you will gain on the performance. So it is recommended, especially if you're targeting your lower end devices, things more than one or two generations away, go ahead and turn these options on in your materials. Use it for your non-hero materials, your non-main materials, things like environmental effects, things in the background, things that aren't going to need much visual clarity so that way you will save on performance where you can save on it and it's not really visible so again fully rough and use light map directionality and under mobile is used to save instructions and is a great thing if you are targeting mobile devices
If you have any questions, please feel free to leave comments below.